We are going to be printing out four photos of four different animals and spinning it and getting whatever it lands on today. So we got the wheel completely set up. So we have our monkey, we have our macaw, we have our snake, and we have our bearded dragon. So guys, we are ready to spin this wheel in three, two, one. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day so far. So guys, in today's video, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be printing out four photos of four different animals and I'm gonna be heading to my brother's house because he has a giant wheel. And with those four photos, we're gonna be taping them on the sides of the wheel and spinning it and getting whatever it lands on today. So guys, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna print out four pictures of four different animals. We're gonna head to my brother's, put them on the wheel and get started. So I'll catch you all once I get there. Guys, we're here at the wheel and you can see we have a nice perfect spinning wheel and we also got our four pictures. So we got a blue and gold macaw right here. We have a bearded dragon. We have a capuchin monkey and we also have a radiated rat snake. So guys, you can see we already got the tape going on here already. So we're just gonna go ahead and set this up. So I'm gonna put these right here and we're gonna put this one right here. Gonna get the wheel ready, set this up. Now we're gonna grab the tape. Okay, now we're gonna set the next one up, which is the radiated rat snake. We're gonna put this one right here, stick it on. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be just right for what we need to do. So we're gonna grab four more pieces, three, four. All right, guys, so let's finish setting this wheel up. All right, guys, so we got the wheel completely set up. So we have our monkey, we have our macaw, we have our snake and we have our bearded dragon. Now guys, before we get to spinning this wheel and it landing on the animal that we're gonna be getting today, guys, I'm gonna give you an, a little explanation as to why I chose these four animals. So guys, you remember blue and sky, my blue throated macaws now, I've always wanted a macaw of my own and I think it would be amazing to raise my own and have a bond with that type of animal. And the reason I chose the radiated rat snake is because when I was little, my brother had this as his first snake and guys, I was absolutely in love with it and I actually bought my very own and we had two radiated rat snakes. We also had a bearded dragon when we were younger and guys, they're super, super cute when they're little. They come about this big when they're babies and they're super, super calm. They're actually really, really cool animals. And the reason why I chose the capuchin is because while working at ZWF, I literally fell in love with monkeys and actually I fell in love with the capuchins. My brothers brought home a couple before and I really, really love taking care of them. So guys, Without further ado, we're gonna get to spinning the wheel. Now guys, what I'm gonna do is whatever lands right here. So if this monkey lands right here, that's what we're getting today. If this lands here, yeah, you guys, you guys kind of get the idea. So guys, let's go. So guys, we are ready to spin this wheel in three, two, one. Okay, it's going, it's going, it's going. And guys, it didn't land on anything. So guys, we're gonna spin this for the second time in three, two one okay it's going it's going it's going oh, guys it landed on the radiated rat snake all right guys so we are getting in my truck right now and we're gonna head to the pet store now i called a couple and there was one pet store that had a couple radiated rat snakes and i told them to pick out the perfect one that was the perfect coloring and had the most beautiful markings so guys get in the car we are gonna head to the pet store and get my radiated rat snake one eternity later guys so i have the little guy in this cup right here now i'm gonna wait to show you him once i get to my brother's house because i'm gonna take him out and guys he is absolutely beautiful so i'm gonna wait so you guys can get the full effect and see how beautiful this little guy is so i'll catch you all once i get back to my brothers so guys we just got back to my brother's house right now we are in his reptile room right here and we have this little guy right here in the container so we're going to start by taking the rubber band off guys i am so excited i literally can't wait so we have nothing to worry about because these guys are non-venomous, but the pet store said that he did have a little bit of an attitude. So we're gonna be careful because if he tries to bite me, he's just gonna keep on latching on and trying to bite, bite, and bite. But just look how beautiful his markings are. Oh my goodness, guys, look how pretty. <gasps> guys, he is so adorable. Oh my goodness, look how tiny. He is the most, Precious thing ever. I mean, look at those beautiful markings he has. And he's a little unsure because he's in a new surrounding. But guys, 
I am literally obsessed. So guys, what I want you to do right now is I want you to stop what you're doing right now and comment down below a name for a girl or a boy radiated rat snake. And guys, I may choose you in the next video picking the name of this little cute guy. I mean, look how adorable. What's up, buddy? So guys, now what we need to do is we need to set up this guy's new terrarium. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to put him back in here. See, so guys, he doesn't even want to leave me. He is so adorable. So we're going to put him right here. Pick him up like this. And this is going to take a little while, guys. So we got him in here, and we're going to leave him right here. And we're going to go set up his terrarium. And guys, he's going to be so happy to be in a new giant tank. A few moments later. So guys, this is the tank that we are going to be using for the radiated rat snake. I went to go get it for my brother's shed. Now, if I open it up right here, you can see it has a really nice natural cork background. So I'm not going to rinse the whole thing because I don't want to ruin the cork. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper towel right here. We are going to go on ahead and we're going to dampen it up just like this. Okay, guys. Make sure it's not sopping wet. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start scooping everything out like this now it's going to take a little longer but this tank is going to be nice and ready for the new rat snake all right guys so we have everything we got our tank we got our little rat snake right here we got the top of the tank we have our little cover so he can take cover here we have our little plant we're going to stick in there and we have our little water bowl so he can drink and soak in some water so guys without further ado we're going to start setting the tank up so first we're going to start by putting the mulch in so we're going to go ahead Four, four, four. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more than that because he does like to burrow in the mulch. So we're gonna put a decent amount so he's able to do that. Put that right here, and we're gonna start spreading this out, guys. Look at that. We put literally the perfect amount of mulch. So now I'm gonna set the mulch aside right here, and we're gonna take this plant right here, and we're gonna set it up right here. So I think. Maybe setting it up on the side right there would be great so he can take cover. He can hide in here if he gets a little scared. And I just think the tank is coming on just great. So now we're going to take this little piece of bark right here and stick that right here. But we're going to actually have to maneuver everything around just a little bit. So we're able to fit the little water bowl. So we're going to stick this. This wants to work with me today. Maybe right here, stick the plant here. And guys, is this gonna fit? Is it gonna work? Let's see. We're gonna move this up a little bit. There you go, guys, look. We just set his tank up. Now if I open it from the front right here, look how great that looks. So we're gonna fill this up with some water, but it is nice and secure in here. And then he can go in his little hut. He has little shrubs to hide in and guys this tank came out amazing so what i'm going to do now is we're going to fill this up with some water and then we're going to introduce the radiated rat snake to his new tank so guys i took this jug and i filled it with a little water so we we're able to fill up the radiated rat snake's water bowl so look guys we're going to go on ahead we're going to make sure this is nice and secure and even and we're going to just start pouring it in okay we're going we're going all right guys there we go so we're going to make this a little more even it's not on an angle maybe push a little mulch under here so it's nice and perfect okay guys there we have it the tank for the radiated rat snake is finally done so come take a look we got our water set up right here we have the hut we have the shrubs we have the mulch and now it is time to put the little snake in so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this up right here Here. Okay, we're gonna let him crawl out a little bit. All right, buddy. I'm gonna take you to your new home. Are you ready? Okay, guys, we're gonna put him in his new tank in three, two, one. Whoa, look at him go, guys. So now we're gonna have to put the top on. Do you see him in the shrubs right there, guys? He is loving his new tank. Guys, we got the lid on. If you come take a look right here, he's already exploring his new tank. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to shut this and we're going to make sure we lock it. So this guy has no way of getting out. So we're going to go ahead and lock this tank. So now the tank is locked. And now to open it, what you do is you push down and you pull. So 
there we have it guys we have my new radiated rat snake and his new tank set up guys if you look right here he's already crawled in and already taken cover and guys I think he loves his new tank. But guys, that is going to conclude today's video. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, getting this radiated rat snake and setting his new tank up, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you like how this tank turned out, if you like how I set everything up, or if you guys would do it differently. And now if you want to see more crazy animal videos and picking up some crazy animals, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.